<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command with another random talk. Gentlemen, this outbreak has definitely unleashed the absolute worst that society has to offer in so far as the mental facilities and the thought processes of a lot of people. Now, as much as I don't like Facebook, it's good to log on every now and then and see just how bad, or should I say, how brainwashed the vast majority of people are. And yeah, yeah, this society, in my opinion, needs the hard reset because so many people are stuck in their feelings they want to be social justice warriors so bad. They want to be armchair revolutionaries so bad that they simply cannot. No, I'm not even going to say they can't. They refuse to see the forest for the trees. Everything is anti-Trump this. The protesters are all racist, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you know what? These people are falling directly for the mind fuck. They're falling for it. Hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, the county that I live in has made it outright mandatory that you have to have a face covering to enter into an establishment. Even the military bases made it mandatory. So guess what? can't get away from it just roll with the punch and call it even however a couple of days ago i went into a gun store which was very weird to actually go into a gun store with a mask on <laughs> never in my life did i would ever think that would be the norm however went in start inquiring about purchasing a firearm. So of course the guy behind the counter was like, you know, can I see some ID? Sure. Broke out my um, retiree ID and I could see the flash just go into his eyes like, yep, good. So at that point he was like, you know what? Let's move down to another counter. So I was like, okay, what's so particularly special about this section of firearms? It's like, well, these firearms are only available to first responders, law enforcement, and military. And you being a retiree, you get access to these sections. So I'm like, well, cool. And you get a huge discount. So once again, I was like, well, this is nice. Says so far as background checks and all that stuff, you're good. And come to find out, you have to take a test. I don't even have, I don't even have to take the test. So yeah, it's time for me to get back to training. Gentlemen, we all know that when the fall season comes, this thing is going to come back with a vengeance. And we all know that the supply chain is really buckling right now. It's bad. Now, I talked to the meat sack a couple of days ago, and she's worried that she might have gotten the outbreak because a few nurses in her facility have tested positive. However, comes to find out they were all asymptomatic. Yeah. Which means odds are everybody has pretty much already gotten this. But the way that the media keeps pushing it is 
if you get this, they damn near make it an automatic death sentence. Yeah. And once again, so many people are falling for the fear mongering. They're falling for the constant push of fear to the point that you have what happened in Michigan with the security guard who was just doing his job. Yeah. Calvin Munnerland shot dead by a couple of simps at the behest of a black woman. Yeah. Yeah, gentlemen. This is why you need to tool up. You need to keep your head on a swivel. Something like this could happen at any point in time. Because the way that they set that up, straight up coward move. The husband started arguing with the security guard. Then the son comes up and shoots him in the back of the head. Once again, coward move. If he was really about that life, then it would have been a straight up gunfight. However, we don't even know if the security guard was even armed or not. But with that being the case, gentlemen, keep your head on the swivel. Even in a time of a pandemic, the simp spirit is still strong. Now, of course, the woman's been arrested and they're looking for the two men. And I'm going to be completely honest on a couple of things. First and foremost, I hope all three of them get the death penalty. I do. I hope they all get put down. Now, the second thing, if that security guard had been a white guy, I guarantee you this would not have went down. Yeah. Something that um I am Aaron said in his video about how we as black people will go from zero to 60 in a heartbeat. He is absolutely correct. And that's why I said what I said. If that security guard had been a white guy, this would have never went down. But yeah, gentlemen, tool up, keep your head on a swivel and look out for these simps because they will try to kill you over quote unquote disrespecting a woman even if you're trying to keep them safe from themselves. All because the daughter didn't have a face mask on and it's mandatory in Michigan. So they thought that they didn't have to follow the rules and unfortunately a man died from it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm definitely going to go ahead and tool up myself now that I know a lot of restrictions I don't have to follow per se and it's going to be a whole lot easier for me to get myself a nice little burner. So yeah, once that goes down, then I'll definitely update you on that situation. But yeah, fall slash winter time, it's going to be a whole lot worse. So gentlemen, stock up, tool up, keep your head on the swivel, stay logical, stay calm, hunker down and ride this damn thing out. Because we know, especially with wintertime being quote unquote cuffing season, oh, you can best be assured that a lot of women are going to be coming out of the woodworks. Mm hmm. But let me know what you guys think. And ladies, the power is still metaphorically out. Feminism is still trying to kick and scream. But we all know, for the most part, 
it's damn sure gone out. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out.